Here are some notes on pneumocystis pneumonia. This is what it looks like under the microscope. There are a few epidemiology things to know about pneumocystis pneumonia. It typically happens in patients who have AIDS with a CD4 count of 200 or less. And these patients should be on Bactrim, TMX, or TMP, SMX, um, as prophylaxis for PCP pneumonia, as prophylaxis for pneumocystis pneumonia. It also happens in patients who are otherwise immunosuppressed, such as after a kidney transplant or people who are on immunosuppressive medications like chronic glucocorticoids. The signs and symptoms of PCP pneumonia can vary from indolent to acute respiratory failure. It's typically indolent in AIDS, and it can be more severe otherwise. These patients can have dyspnea, hypoxia, dry cough, fever. They'll have high lactate dehydrogenase levels on their blood work, and they can have diffuse bilateral reticulonodular infiltrate on imaging, for instance, if you do a chest x-ray. The diagnosis is typically made from the sputum or bronchioalveolar lavage, and the treatment is typically Bactrim again, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, and you can add corticosteroids as well um, to that Bactrim. Antiretroviral therapy should also be started in patients who have AIDS.